I'm just going to model on here for you those steps and talk about what I'm doing. Just a very quick side note, well done to all of you for sending in your work. I'm getting loads coming through now and that is so great to see. Some really good working out going on there. Don't forget the answers are in the work pack, so no cheating. But when you've finished, you can go through. Sometimes it's helpful to go through with an adult. You can check what you've been doing. If there's any questions that you're stuck on, you can um, you can mention that to me in an email. Let me know. I can try and explain things for you. Anyway, well done and on with today's steps. So today's learning intention is to demonstrate that we understand two-digit numbers multiplied by two-digit numbers. So what we're trying to show is we know what's happening when we're multiplying two-digit numbers. And we use the grid method for that. So you might be able to do these mentally. You might prefer using the column method. That's fine. But the point of today is just showing that we understand what's happening when we're multiplying those numbers. First thing is partitioning. So 50 and 6. Nice and easy for the first one. 50, 6 is 50. So 5 tens and 6 ones. And then the same with the second number. So 32. We've got 30 there. 3 tens and 2. Lovely. Then set out the grid. So I've cheated a little bit over the side of my screen here. I've got one I made earlier. It's a little bit wonky, but should do the job. So there's my grid. And what I can do now, because I'm working on a computer, is just place my partitioned numbers into the grid. So I'm separating the tens and the ones here. This makes it easier for me to multiply. That's step one done. That's step two done. Now we're going to times the units, the ones, and six times two, nice and simple, 12. And then we move on to the tens. You can use smile multiplication for this, which we've practiced quite a few times over the last few weeks, particularly in mental maths. Let's start with 50 times 30. A nice easy one, so I can do five times three, and then think about how the place value changes because I'm actually multiplying tens here. So five times three is 15. But the place value of that changes. 15 moves two places to the left because I've multiplied two tens, not ones. Now let's look at my other tens. 30 times 6. Again, I can use small multiplication for that. 3 times 6 is 18. Then you're just shifting the place value. Imagine you've got your place value grid, which puts that 1 from the tens column into the hundreds, the 8 from the ones column into the tens. We've now got 180. So to summarise, we times the tens so far. We've done 50 times 30, which is 1,500. We've done 6 times 30, or 30 times 6, which is 180. Finally, 50 times 2. You probably don't even need to use small multiplication for that. When we're times things by 2, it's nice and easy. 100. Now I've got all those numbers in there, I can add them together and answer my question. So let's start with 1,500. I'm going to add 100, 1,600, add 180, that's 1,780, plus 12 is 1,792. Hopefully that explanation has helped. Um, have a go at that today. There's a few smiley face options for you. Don't You don't have to do every sheet, just pick a smiley face. There's some real life problems which you can work out mentally if you're more comfortable with. But for the set one and two, please use this grid method just so I can see your understanding and make sure you know what's going on. Anyway, good luck and I look forward to seeing some more work from you.